right, we're gonna do a little bit of something different today. We got two of these a cow cow 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries that are supposed to be waterproof is what they're calling them. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to hook these up in parallel. So this video is gonna be a little bit longer than normal, so I wanna go ahead and leave off the unboxing and all that sort of stuff. You know, if you like that unboxing stuff, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that. Uh, Cause I may change the formats and uh, just get, kinda get right into the battery review videos in the future, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think down below. These are one of the cheapest Bluetooth enabled lithium iron phosphate batteries you can find on Amazon. So I'm curious to see how the app works with having two batteries in the app. Do we have to look at each one individually? Can we see them both at the same time? Or how's that gonna work exactly? We're gonna go over that app and take a look and see how that works. So before we get these connected up in parallel, we wanna make sure that we charge both batteries all the way up uh, and then we're gonna test the voltage of the batteries to make sure they're within about 50 millivolts or around there to before we connect them together to make sure we don't have too much of an inrush of current. So they came with this really high end uh, manual here that's printed backwards and it's a single sheet of paper basically. And uh, you think that's the front, but it opens this way. So you actually gotta go back to the back here. I'll go ahead and throw a screenshot of this up on the screen so you can see the specifications and I'll walk through the pages here real quick so you can go over it. It's a super basic manual but you know the thing about it is again these are super inexpensive batteries and these fancy, ma fancy manuals if it has a fancy manual you're paying for that manual one way or another so I personally don't care about it all I really want to see is the basic uh, specifications here for the battery uh, and that's all I really care about. So I'm I'm happy that they uh, are not wasting money on a fancy manual. It's got your scan codes here to download your app for Android and uh, iPhone. And uh, again, that's all you really need. All right, we're going to check our voltages on these two batteries and see where we're at. 13.83. And this one is 13.35. 34. All right, we'll go ahead and bring this one up to the 13.8 or so, and then we can uh, tie them together in parallel. All right, we got these two batteries balanced out now, close enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, tie them together. All right, so I got two wires here, and to run parallel, it's simply going positive to positive and negative to negative. But before we hook this up to our system, we're simply gonna tie the two batteries together to allow them to balance out with each other and connect it up positive to positive, negative to negative for, and leave it sit for a couple of hours. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And if you don't have these balanced well, you may get a little spark here. We're gonna see, little tiny spark. That's where that spark comes from, is from the inrush of current from something being imbalanced. We'll go ahead and let that balance out for a couple hours and then we'll be back to how we hook this up to our actual system here. All right, so one of the secrets to uh, maintaining a good balance and good efficiency whenever you connect this up, we're gonna go ahead and connect this up to our system now, is you're gonna go the positive on one battery and use the negative of the other battery rather than go, like we could just simply go negative to negative here and positive to positive here, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go positive to here and the negative to the second battery over here that's adjacent. That way you get a nice flow of energy throughout both battery banks uh, so that it forces it to stay in balance a lot easier. We'll go ahead and get that hooked up now. Now, one thing that was interesting with this particular battery too is it came with a different sort of uh, post protector, but these are not gonna work for us. We're using one aught cable here and there's gonna be two of them. So we're not able to really use these uh, caps, but these are really nice if you had a single battery setup, especially those are nicer than what you usually get with most other batteries It's simply a little little top piece and that's it Now before we hook this up because this are, is hooking up to our main system here we're gonna want to go ahead and uh, use this resistor to uh, pre-charge the capacitors in 
our inverter here. So you just connect that up to there, five seconds or so, and that'll prevent us from getting any kind of a spark. Now we have a two battery system in parallel, so it's still 12 volt, but because we hooked them in parallel, it's now doubling our amp hours. So we have a 12 volt, 200 amp hour. If we were to run these in series, which we'll go over in another video, it would turn this up to 24 volt and maintain 100 amp hours. But we're doing parallel, so we're in a 12 volt system. That means we're gonna have a 12 volt inverter. Before I put any load on this of any kind, I like to still, after you get hooked up to your system, for, I don't know, I like to do about 12 hours or so without really putting a load on it. It's probably not all that necessary, but that's just what I like to be able to do. Uh, but I would do it for at least another hour uh, when it's hooked to your system to allow every the final balancing to take place in the entire system. And then you should be ready for use. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this app here. I've already got this set up with my two batteries. And what I like about this app is, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this app but it, it's a pretty common app and it's used for quite a few different batteries. As you see in here, I even have the Vatterer batteries, the same app. I've had about five different batteries that use this app. So I like it when there's some consistency, you can use one app uh, across multiple things. So I've already added the Akau Akau, uh two batteries here. And um, so this is the screen that you're gonna see when you first get it connected. It, it's not gonna say a cow cow there, but well, I'll show you where I changed the name in here. So we're going to go into this battery here. Again, I got everything fully charged up. You click the parameters button down at the bottom, the basic information, and you can change the name here by uh, clicking in this box, typing in whatever name you want, and then, uh, and then set it. And so here's the uh, manufacturer date and the information specifically about that battery. And we go back to real time as the RT button at the bottom. And then this confused me a little bit to start with to get back to your device list. You go, you click on the actual word where it says device list. These are all my devices. Now, one of the things that I was really interested to find out about was how you would manage multiple batteries. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that here. So I have the a Cow Cow 1 and a Cow Cow 2 are the two different batteries. So if you check these boxes here, and then uh, connect. Now you can use these arrow keys that are up here at the top to go back and forth between the two that you have checked. So here's a cow cow one, and this is the state of this battery. We'll click the right arrow key. It's gonna connect to the second battery and we can check here. So, so as you can see here on this battery, we're looking at 13.86 volts. And then on the second battery, we're looking at 13.87 volts, which there's usually you know, a 0.1 volt difference between two batteries all the time. We'll scroll down here, you can see all the different uh, information that you can see, including the cell voltages down here at the bottom, the temperature of the, the battery, and the current, and uh, all that sort of stuff. And then here you have a control. You can turn the charging off or the discharging off and uh, several other different things here. And then there's a history. I don't have any history because I just uh, turned this app on and installed it, but this will show history over time of each battery. So that's really cool. So yeah, that's the app. And uh, let me give you my final thoughts. All right, this video is already getting a little long, so I'm not gonna bother showing the whole countdown of the uh, capacity test and all that stuff. So I'll just tell you that I did do a capacity test and I got 102.7 amp hours out of this battery. So at the current time, this battery is only $199 on Amazon and their website. And at the moment, there's a $15 coupon on Amazon. And then uh, on their website, I have an exclusive 5% off coupon code in the description down below. So you might wanna check that out. And uh, I always like to check no matter whether it's Amazon or their website, the, the prices are always a little bit different. And sometimes you can get a better deal on their website and sometimes you get a better deal on Amazon. So I always recommend check out both links and see which one is the better deal if you're interested in this battery. One thing that it does not claim to have 
uh, low temperature protection, uh, low temperature charge protection on this battery. But I saw another reviewer who did do that. According to him, it does have low temperature protection. So I did not do that test, but I'm going to do that in the future because almost every battery I've had that uses that same app does actually have low temperature charge protection. I don't know why they didn't include that as part of their specifications. The app is what's tied to the BMS is why I believe that the uh, it has that because that they're using the, the same BMS that others use that uses that app. So we're going to check that out in a future video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to follow along with that sort of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put these into an everyday system because I've wanted to have uh, dual Bluetooth batteries. So I'm switching out the, another system I had that had two standard batteries um, so that I could be able to monitor this from the living room and uh, that sort of thing. And I, I'm an advocate of several small systems, but in a small system, in my opinion, you need two batteries to do anything substantial at all, unless you're just wanting to run some lights in a shed or something. If you want to do any kind of cooking or you need something that needs eight, like a cooking devices normally take 1800 watts, somewhere in that neighborhood. And that's too much for a single battery. So I always recommend having two 100 amp hour batteries if you're going to go with 100 amp hour style batteries. So I think it's really cool how you can just flip between the two batteries and the app and stuff. Anyway, this get, video is getting a little bit long. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up here. If you want to see some of my other battery review videos, I'll drop a link to those right here. And that's the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next one.